say, Father, please make them one as we are one. Whatever your nation, whatever your language, whatever your color, whatever your education, we are one. Amen. Amen. So we'll try to get him some money before it goes over there okay. to help out on that. So if you didn't come prepared today to give an offering, that's fine. You can bring it next week. Um, if you'll mark your check or an envelope accordingly so that we'll know it's for this uh, mission in Haiti, then that would be most appreciative. And uh, Pastor Michelle is uh, going to most likely slip out because he's got a church. He pastors a church himself. And uh, probably need to get to this church. You told me. So anyway, we thank you for coming. Appreciate it, Pastor, so much. We love you. God richly bless you. And we will definitely be in touch with you. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank you, thank you. Amen. I'm going to be glad to to praise him with you. You know why? Amen. You you wash your foot over here. Praise the Lord. And I want that choir on me. Week and then I'll get him a check. All right, thank you. Praise the Lord. God is good, amen. amen. I want to welcome everyone today to Faith International, and uh, we appreciate so much uh, what that pastor is doing. Now I can tell you that I knew Gene very well, and uh, Gene really loves the Lord. I find it extremely hard to believe that. Uh, the charges that are against him are anything more than a, uh, a scam for some personal reason of someone. It's hard for me to imagine that somebody could do that to someone else as far as make that accusation <laughs> and uh, to do them bodily harm. But unfortunately, there are people out there that do that. And uh, uh, sad to say, he was tried with only a six-member court. Yes. Instead of a 12 man oh, jury. Yeah. And, uh, we try, we try. I think that uh, the, the, it was just some prejudice yeah. involved, if you ask me. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, however, uh, as Pastor Michelle said, God will have the final yeah. word. Amen. Praise Amen. the Lord. And so we appreciate what Pastor Michelle is doing for Gene Sandler. Gene was over here working, sending money to his family. That's what he was doing. He wasn't making big money. He worked as a nurse's aide in a nursing home. So, you know, but it was better money here than he was making in Haiti. And so he would take that and send it home. And uh, and uh, then this came up for an actual accusation that was at least eight years old. It may have been a little older than that. And uh, so it surprised me, set me back because Gene and I had gone to the jail and preached together. We'd done things together, and uh, yeah. it just really surprised me. I said, I don't know where that's coming from. But uh, yeah. okay. anyway, I never dreamt it would stick, but it did. Yeah. Yeah. Ended up two life sentences out of it. It's what the courts were saying. So anyway, uh, he needs your prayer and. It's family that is in Haiti needs our prayers and support. Amen. And uh, Brother Dick's uh, son and uh, daughter-in-law, Rick and Nancy, go there and visit him regularly. Thank and uh, Brother Dick usually asks me, you know, so, well, Rick and Nancy are with Pastor Gene this, this morning, today. And uh, so they've been a great help to him and encouragement because they go on a regular basis to the prison and spend the day with him. Amen. It's wonderful. Wonderful. Hallelujah. Well, God is good, isn't he? Oh, yeah. Praise yeah. the Lord. Oh, good to see your smiling faces out there. And uh, appreciate your uh, uh, faithfulness and your generosity to, toward that uh, work there. Hallelujah. Look at with me in Acts, the 19th chapter, if you would. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I... Uh, Thought the Lord what to share, and amazing, I heard believe. <laughs> Praise the 
praise the Lord. Praise and pray. So, uh, I'm going to talk about believing. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, you know, I'm going to keep talking about it until I get it. Amen. Until you get it. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Because I'm still have some issues from time to time, yes. personally. Yes. Amen. Amen. And I'm still learning how to fine-tune this thing yes. so that it works every time. Every time. Yes. The gospel works all the time. All the time. Never fails. Never fails. Yeah. It is the universal law that set everything in motion. And if I can understand it by revelation knowledge and walk and live in it, then I can be the head and not the tail. And above only and not beneath. As Deuteronomy tells me I am. Praise the Lord. In every situation, in every circumstance. Not just hit and miss. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. I'm not interested in that. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we're in Acts chapter 19 and verse 2. He said unto them, Acts 19, 2, He said unto them, Have ye received the Holy Ghost since ye believed? And they said unto him, We have not so much as heard whether there be any Holy Ghost. Let's pray. Father, we love you. We thank you for your word this morning. Thank you for this time together. Thank you for this body of believers here in Bradenton, Florida. We love you. We worship you. We've come to sit at the feet of Jesus this morning and learn. Open our ears to hear and our eyes to see. That which the Holy Ghost is saying to the church today, Lord. And we'll be sure to give you all the praise and glory for it in Jesus' name. Everybody said? Amen. Amen. All right, so verse 2 here, he said unto them, Have ye received, and in this case, he says the Holy Ghost. Yes, yes. Now we're going to talk about the Holy Ghost later on, but I didn't pick this verse out because of the Holy Ghost. <laughs> well, in a, in a sense I did. The Holy Ghost told me this verse. <laughs> he picked it out for me. Glory. But not to talk about him so much. All right. But we are going to discuss it here in a little bit. However... That I want you to see here that if you just take this and say, Have you received? Drop the Holy Ghost there for a moment. Mm -hmm. He doesn't mind. Have you received since you believed? Okay, uh -huh. There we go. That's what we want to talk about. Amen. The generic part of it. Mm -hmm. Have you received whatever you prayed for? Yeah. Since yeah. you believed. Yeah. Thank you. In this case, it was the Holy Ghost he was talking about. Right. Right?